It's 612 on our Tuesday morning, and if you're waking up and you're driving, like we saw earlier this morning, a lot of fog yes. out there. Visibility is definitely tough, and we saw on the sky cam as well. Right, and a normal morning, or like a morning over the summer, it's like, okay, extra caution, you know, right. with the fog, but now we have the kids back out on the roads, yes. and some of the kids have gone to back to school, so, so extra, extra, caution. extra caution this morning, right? Yes. And look at this video, David, from yesterday with the storms that rolled through. This was uh, from Jennifer in Belchertown. Quite the scene there. Yes, it was. And you can see the, um, I don't know, what is that about dime size hail, right? With, I think they said uh, it was like an inch and in Yeah, in diameter, in right? Diameter, Nasty yeah. stuff yesterday. You get hit with one of these. Yeah, that's not good, right? Um, isolated in nature, but those that got hit with some of the storms certainly picked up some hail. Uh, you don't see hail this size very often around here, but that was the case yesterday in Belchertown and Granville had a nasty uh, hail storm as well as the storms came through yesterday afternoon. They were from a, probably about noontime, about five o'clock, so a little earlier. And then after that, things settled down for the evening. But, you know, a lot of low level moisture when you get uh, downpours and rain and storms like that, it takes a while for things to dry out. So the ground is damp, the temperature is falling to the dew points. So that is squeezing out all that moisture in the form of low clouds and fog this morning. So we have a cool, damp feel, a little bit of mist out there this morning as well. So it's going to take a couple of hours, especially right in the valley, for us to uh, rid uh, ourselves of the fog and the sunshine to come out. So as the kids head off to school this morning, plenty of fog, visibility issues, upper 50s for temperatures. But by the time they're heading home, certainly we'll see plenty of sunshine at that point. I think by mid-morning the sun's starting to come out and temperatures will come up into the mid-80s. So a little warm today, but it's not going to be overly humid with dew points near 60. So 7 o'clock, you can see, especially right in the valley, uh, we're going to be dealing with that fog. By 9 or 10 o'clock, it's gone. We'll have just about full sunshine for a while, and then just a few clouds mix in this afternoon. Temperatures reach into the mid-80s. Normal high should be about 79 or 80, so we'll probably be about 5 degrees above that. But again, it's not going to be all that humid. Dew points today between about 55 and 60, so... That's uh, fairly comfortable. It does get more humid tonight. With that, it's going to be milder, so it's not going to be quite as cool by tomorrow morning. And clouds will be on the increase with the passage of a warm front tomorrow morning. We could catch an early shower or downpour. Then we're going to see developing sunshine. And then probably around the early part of the afternoon tomorrow, we run the risk of a strong to severe thunderstorm. I don't think they're going to be as widespread as they were yesterday, but that's something we'll be watching out for for tomorrow. So above... A lot of clear sky. The satellite not picking up on the low clouds that are with us, but once that burns off, as you can see above, we don't have much in terms of cloud cover. Our upper level disturbance has shifted offshore now. We're going to be watching this system that's going to be dropping our way for tomorrow. It's going to be bring a warm front tomorrow morning with a shower or a downpour. And then in the afternoon, the cold front will move through. And that could kick up a couple of showers, downpours that could be on the strong to severe side as well. Again, not as widespread, isolated in nature, but those that do get hit could get a pretty good thunderstorm here. I think by 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we're done. The dry air works in for tomorrow night, and then Thursday's looking good. We may start with a few clouds, but we'll see sunshine in the afternoon, cooler, drier, both Thursday and Friday look delightful as high pressure begins to work on in. So today uh, we're going to see temperatures in the low to mid 80s, but tomorrow middle and upper 80s, probably the warmest day of the week. The week will have the most humidity and then those storms will move through. A gusty breezes in the afternoon too. Once that front goes through, bring in that drier air that will probably feel as early as tomorrow evening. Certainly feeling it Thursday and Friday, not only drier, but cooler with morning lows down in the 50s Thursday, Friday, we're back down in the 40s for morning lows. So today, dew points are coming up, middle 60s on average later on. Not bad, not much humidity today, but it gets more humid tonight. A lot of dark red, right? That's the humidity building tonight into tomorrow morning, and then we'll dry it out tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, and on into Thursday. A nice refreshing air mass will be moving in at that time. So for today, we'll have plenty of sunshine this afternoon, 82 to 86, warm but not all that humid, mild and muggy tonight as the dew points come up, a shower downpour tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow itself, the bulk of the day, it's not raining, but there'll be a couple of hour window, probably early tomorrow afternoon. We could catch a gusty thunderstorm. That's the drier, cooler air that works in here for Thursday and Friday. And then that brings us to the weekend. We'll discuss those weekend prospects in our next weather segment in just a few minutes from now. David, back over to you.